Check one, check, check. I think I heard our intro. Totally did. Where you been? Did I? Mm-hmm. Okay. Were you doing your hair? What's wrong with my hair? No, I, is that why you're late? You were doing your hair? Yeah, I was doing my hair. All right, welcome back to the show. I am Seckert, and this is... G. Linda. And today, we're talking about organizational skills <laughs> or the lack thereof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a big one. It kind of is a big one. kind of is a big one. We organize ourselves very differently, men and women. Uh, yeah, and mm-hmm. just that's a blanket statement. Is that what that is? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Big ass blanket. You're looking at me like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, how, let's let you start this one off. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm all we have very different ways of organizing our lives, right? Toolboxes, the studio, yeah. the kitchen, the bathroom, the medicine cabinet. Um, a lot of times we have to ask each other, where do we keep this, right? Um, and it's been in the same spot forever. Um, so do you think I could organize your tool, your tool, uh, cabinet, chest, box? What do you call it? <laughs> Judging by how you're, you're, you're describing it? No, I'm going to say yeah. no. Okay. All right. Um, no, um, no, another guy could, could organize another guy's tools, I think better than a woman organizing tools. I would I would say that's a pretty good safe bet. Um, hmm. and, and, and I mean, some guys are good at changing oil. Some guys change tires. Some guys rebuild engines. Some guys have drills. Some guys have saws. Some guys have screwdrivers. Some guys have all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But... Um, I should correct, you know what, I'm going to correct myself here for a second, because not all guys can fix shit. No. Right? No, they can't. Yeah, some guys need their own shit fixed Mm -hmm. sometimes. So, not all guys. And they have that. If if it's a handy guy, for sure, that uh, that, that guy could organize. Anybody can organize anybody's garage or or shop or if if you're a handy guy. Hmm. Because you're talking about that thing, right, that tool, box, chest, whatever we call it, right? <laughs> the big red thing. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. The cupboard. Yeah, because some people have uh, fixing... When, when Some people have a tool box, a small version of what's out in your shop in your house because you don't want to run out to the shop all the time to get a screwdriver or drill, yada, 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 right? Hmm. Some guys do. Some women do, too. Some, like, some like, women are very handy. Right? Some mm. women are. I'm handy. Uh, with a screwdriver? I've got the I've got the magic one that you can change all the heads, right? <laughs> right. The multi purpose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's all I need in the house. No, I I, I no. No, it's mm-hmm. not. Um mm-hmm. no. Yeah. Because sometimes no, that's that's all I use. You can't tell me how to organize my screwdriver. That's all you use, mm-hmm. but that that's not gonna cover everything that needs to get done in the house. Mm. A, a multi-purpose screwdriver. Okay. Like, would that screwdriver? If I needed would it, would, would a it, saw to make dinner, that would be a problem. We're not talking about making dinner. We're talking about. No, we're talking about tools in the kitchen, tools yeah. in the house. Okay, so like, I don't use saws. The chandelier, right? The kitchen mm-hmm. dining mm-hmm. light. Mm-hmm. Would a screwdriver fix that? The cowling for it? It's not broken. <laughs> Not now it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, carry on. Carry on. Okay, so that's that's how you want to start the show? Yeah. Okay. I want to talk about, um, first of all, dis- full disclaimer. Full, full disclosure, actually. Um, G. Landa is, she has awesome organizational skills. So I'm going to say that at the start of the show and probably at the end of the show. But these organization skills work for me, right? And if you're in my space, you have to stay organized with my system, right? Like the kitchen? No. Yeah. No, I don't think so because... No. You can't reorganize the kitchen because it works for me. Are you for real? Like, (laughs) uh, Really? I can't reorganize the kitchen? 
Because it worked for you. It works for me. Or do you live alone? No. Exactly. Okay, do do, so, so then it's okay if I organize cookies? your toolbox, if I need to get a, a a wrench to fix the cowling in the in the light fixture. Okay, let's let's go there. <laughs> we'll go there because we know that that's not going to happen. Uh, okay, it'll go on the to do list, and I will be presented the to do list at some point during the day or the mm. week. Okay, right, and you'll say. <laughs> You won't. <laughs> I got to clean this up a little bit. Okay. I know that's bullshit because you won't even do the dishes from the breakage of nails. What the hell does dishes have to do with tools? Because you, if you're fixing things, you're going to break something. You're going to get a cut. You've seen my hands. My hands are always scarred up, right? That's you, why I don't do dishes. No. I'm talking about fixing stuff. Mm. You know what? Can we move past that? Mm-hmm. I guess. I guess. Um, you. I was saying something and you said so. I, I want to talk to you about... So first of all, I was putting G-Landa on a platform saying she's got great organizational skills and then she interrupted me. And uh, <laughs> I'm organizing my thoughts right now. <laughs> How much time do you need? <laughs> Just give me a second. One more sip of this. So it'll, You'll I'll just be, be a, all organized. Yeah, I'll be in a better place, right? Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I think you have decent organization skills. They work for mm. you. They, you know, sometimes when... They don't. It spills no. into my world, it kind of yeah, I bothers me. But. I, I, I fake my way through it a lot. Mm. I do. Okay. I, I like to pretend I'm organized uh, more so than I am. When it comes to a computer and stuff, I'm, I've got my shit together there. Mm. And filming shows and stuff mm-hmm, like that. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm good that way. Okay. I think I am. But uh, I want to tell the folks here, the fine folks in in uh, internet land, um, about my, my, my bedroom end table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... I have um, a two-drawer end table slash coffee table nightstand nightstand type thing, right? And I've got my gotch in the top drawer and my socks in the second drawer. And I came home the last week. It was one day last week, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, let me, let, me, let me paint the picture here. So I like to snack in bed. Um. Ever, who doesn't, right? I mean, come on. I like to snack in bed and watch shows, and and uh, yeah, I like it. And so my, I have I have a, a lamp on on my nightstand, which matches the lamp on the other side on my nightstand. Right, it's really all we need yeah, on yeah, a yeah. nightstand. But I said I said to Gilanda the other night, I says, "Fuck, I need a I need a bigger nightstand <laughs> because of my snacks." You know, I've got my little chocolate bowl. I uh, might have a bag of chips on the go or a bowl of popcorn or something Bottled like that. Bottled water. Bottled water. Napkins. Your phone. Your, yeah, I- your, your iPad. A few things, right? Mm-hmm. Anyways, the, the real estate is, is uh, yeah, it's a little small. Mm-hmm. So I, I had run some errands that day and I come home. And G. Lena says, oh, you got to check out your new... Uh, New, new uh, end table, night table. Um, the orga- I organized it for you, and so she <laughs> she took all my gosh and socks out, and she put them in the armoire, which is fine. <laughs> but in the drawers, it's full of snacks. And I, I, you know what? That's a good move. I did that That's out of kindness. Good, you I didn't, know you did. You weren't so. And I like when I started the show. I'm talking about your organization. You know what? I can put you on a platform. Thank you. She fills my chocolate bowl. It's always full. I never have to go looking for chocolate. Very rare do I have to go to the pantry and you know do this, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, but I caught her the other night. (laughs) I'm going to put you up on a on a platform. Then and then just not. I'm going to yank yank the rug out from underneath you. So. Because she likes certain chocolate too, <laughs> and and yeah, she likes those those uh, those caramel. What do they call uh, the Easter chocolates? The Easter chocolates, right? And they're really hard to take the foil off. 
Do you find that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so she was kind of nibbling on those the other night, and I'm like, well, yeah, yeah. So she kind of she she uses my nightstand with the snacks to kind of feed her own face. Okay, okay, we have to be clear because the only reason that I reorganized your nightstand is you said you needed a bigger one, and it wouldn't match the one on the other side, and so yeah. I visualized you rolling in a new dining room table with three leaves in it, a table for that could seat ten. Wheeling that in beside the bed, and and well, that know, that man. that would not work for me. It wouldn't match the feng shui of the bedroom. Yeah, would be I off. I don't think I would. Really, all you need on your nightstand is your phone charger and a lamp. No, because mm-hmm. I've got a mm-hmm. two remotes for the for the TV set, mm-hmm. right? Um, bottle of water, right? You have bottle of water on your side, mm-hmm. right? But that's yeah. about but that's about all you have. But when you start stacking stuff up and it's yeah, higher it's than a, the lamp, yeah. that's a problem. It, it, the, the look is okay. Terrible. So I don't have good organizational skills when it comes to my my empty, nightstand. My nightstand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have something you want to talk about? No. Nope. <laughs> you have nothing. You're you're lying to me right now. <laughs> yeah, you are lying. Let's talk about um, what. Not, actually, all these points are what I'm bad at. What I think I'm bad at, um, and probably a lot of guys can relate to this is, is jackets. <laughs> okay, you know what? Now that you, now that you bring that up, yeah. I need to jump in. So, jackets belong in the closet on hangers, and hangers were the coolest invention, right? I mean, you just put the mm. shoulders over. And hang it on the rod, and and there's there's rods by the front door and by the back door, and I'm not really sure why your jacket always has to go over the back of the chair. And if you're wearing a hoodie and then mm-hmm. a jacket, mm-hmm. you're taking two chairs. And yeah, yeah, well, we don't we don't get company, and we've got eight. That's chairs. the only time your jackets get get hung up is when we get. Now, company. How many chairs? We've got one, two, three. We, Six. There's six in the in and the four dining the, room and four at the island, and four, so we have ten chairs, and sometimes three are covered with jackets. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's only two of us, mm-hmm. right? But my jackets are in the closet with these not slick all little things no, with not hangers. Not all of them. No, no. Pretty sure your your shop jacket is on a chair all the time, right? Okay, busted. Okay, I'm busted. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> but I don't hang any of mine up, so... Ever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I usually don't. Once the, only a... time, the only time Sucker's jackets get <clears throat> um, hung up is when we have company. Yeah. It's kind of like it, we dust the house and we hang up your jackets, and it's like a special day. Yeah, and there's no we in there, is there? <laughs> <laughs> no, there isn't, because no. you're out fixing shit or organizing your tool your toolbox thing. Right. I, actually, I'm, I'll come back to how that happens at the end here. Uh, we talked about the shop tools. Actually, you led with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, a pet peeve of mine that I have um, from my life, let's just say from my life, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's happened here once with you. Mm-hmm. And you know, I had to go to therapy. I had to get through it. I had to push okay, through it. Okay, settle down. Um, is this right here, a cup. Right, a mu- coffee mug, um, a beer mug, uh, a whiskey glass, or something like that, or a glass of water, or whatever. Actually, you're good with the water, like because I I'm bad at that, right? So, bottled water, I hope I'll I have six on the go at one time, mm-hmm. or I a- noticed that ass water, like yeah. a- I'm bad at ass water. Um, for those of you who don't, who don't know what ass water is, I kind of. Spark, sparkling water, sparkling uh, like waters. the bubblies, or yeah. there's the no name brand or whatever. Yeah, yeah but it all they're, tastes like ass. they're lovely. They're, no, they're, they're it does. It's mm, gross. Okay. But anyways, mm. um, point being, you did it once, but I've had this happen to me many times over the years. Uh, I'll put my glass down because I've got about a quarter left in it or something. It could be beer and clam. Could be. Juice could be whatever, could be coffee. Um, probably not the last two for the most part, but mm-hmm. it, it, it's it'll be an alcoholic beverage of mm-hmm. some sort. And I 
put it down because I'm, I'm fixing this or doing that or, you know, hanging my jackets up or something like that. And I come back and the glass is gone. It's just gone. Hmm. And I'm like, what the fuck? Did I leave it in the shop, in the garage? Did I? So I start backstepping where I went because I can't find it. Like, I'm losing my memory. Right? Hmm. <laughs> and then I find out it's in the fucking dishwasher. Hmm. Right? Or somebody did dishes and just washed it and put it in the cupboard. And it <laughs> and your drink wasn't finished yet. No. Oh, okay. No. It not only was Maybe it not drink. finished, but you were gonna have another one. Yeah. It's almost like a shutdown thing in a sense, right? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't want to. That's almost like saying you're done. I'm yeah. Putting your dish or your kind of right? in the dishwasher. Um. So I I I spent twenty minutes, probably ten minutes, looking for it. And and then I find out where it is, and I, I'll even ask the other people in the house. Have you, you seen, seen my, my drink? Right? Hmm. No, 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 no. And then it's in the dishwasher. Well, I know I didn't fucking put it there. <laughs> right? So right. Some, somebody put it there, uh-huh. right? Hmm. And it's aggravating because then you're 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 wasting all that time. Mm-hmm. Looking for it when you could be fixing when shit. The, when the <laughs> when the person who put it in the dishwasher knows they put it in the dishwasher, but they don't say anything. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So that part you haven't done to me. That I don't think me, it's my no, job to pick up after you. No, no. But let me let me just. Okay. I remember it was a, it was it was. A, I think it was a glass of. A bottle of water or something, or, or it's probably ass juice. Probably mm. ass juice, ass water. <laughs> it was not <laughs> ass juice. <laughs> it was ass water. Okay. And you and I said, "Hey, where's my drink?" And then you went, "Oh yeah, no, I thought you were done, and you you disposed of it or put it in the sink or whatever." And I'm like, "Oh okay, that's a little hurtful because I, I come from a long history of that." I did not know that. Yeah, but anyway. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What other so ammo you got, sucker? It's not ammo. Mm. It's uh, G Landa. Um, we have a. Uh, we communicate very well. I, I think so. I would say we do. For right? us, we do, right? Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. all that matters, right? Mm-hmm. But, but it, yeah, for mm-hmm. us, for sure, because you matter to me and I matter to you, and end of story, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she does. 100% of all the grocery shopping. Yeah. She does. And she kills it every time. <laughs> like, it's, it's amazing. And then she she comes home and and brings all the groceries in the house. You help. You well, help if I'm th- If I'm in the room, I do. But hmm. I might be out in the shop or in the studio doing whatever I'm doing, right? Probably trying to find my screwdrivers. Probably. <laughs> but I'll be, which is, which is a separate building from the, the main house, right? Mm-hmm. And I won't even hear you come home because I'm not in that building, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, you've put all the groceries away and and everything's stocked up and and my chocolate bowls are full and everything. And she never complains about that. Like the least you could do is meet me in the driveway or in the garage and help me unpack the groceries, which you never do that. So I got to tip my hat to you. Like that's... Well, thank you. That's a... I, I have a system. I'm pretty updated about my kitchen. Yeah. And my grocery but maybe list. maybe I want to see what you bought. We have to dig for it. I'm like a kid. Where's the cookies, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my grocery list is very uptight. You know that, right? I yeah, it organize is. my grocery list into sections. So I've got the freezer, the produce, the yeah. dairy. And she does. And it's in like, and out. And I asked you when, when, when I first came on the scene, okay, how does this work? Because she's got, you know, she's got books. We have a walk-in pantry. Right? Mm-hmm. Fuck. First time ever I've had a walk in pantry. Man, that's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Who With can, two shelves of snacks. Who can walk into their cupboard, right? Like, come on. <laughs> that, that's, that's pretty decent, man. Like, 
you're not pulling doors. You know, like and whatever. after a it's, it's run, awesome, you can right? see all the, the you can chips see everything. And shit. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like you're in. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like a grocery store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, everything's you know faced up and in sections, in sections, and and yeah, that comes from your old co-op days, probably, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, I can, I have nothing to complain about with that at all, mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Well, thank it, you. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Aren't you being kind? It is. Mm-hmm. I want to talk. Go back to the jackets for a quick second. Okay. Do you have? You've got a lot of notes there. Have you talked about any of them? You're pretty organized. Yeah, actually, that. and some of them came up with stuff that oh, you brought up. So I talk too much, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about the jackets again because uh, uh, when we do, when we don't pick up after ourselves. Um, usually that falls on one person. It's very weighted on, you know, it gets lopsided, right? And if we mm. don't pick up after ourselves and that's just, it's, you know what, that's bad on me. Um, I can never say that you don't pick up after yourself. I would never say that on record. Never would I say that. Mm. Well, uh, you. but if you guys don't have one of these <laughs> in your house, I suggest you find one. Um, I'm not going to tell you where you buy them from. You just, it's kind of magical. You have to just create your own. And it's called a magic coffee table. <laughs> right? And that could be any piece of furniture in, in the house, whether it's a chair or a coffee table or an end table or a nightstand or a couch, uh, front door, back door, it doesn't matter. Deck, it doesn't matter. Because if you leave your shit there long enough, it will just disappear. It will find it at home. Well, and we, I, I call that the magic coffee table. So we have a lot of magic in our house. We kind of do, and you never say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think is called picking your battles. Pick your battles, right? Like how long is that going to sit? Uh, yeah, that's what I'll say. If something's left on the kitchen cupboard or the island or the yeah dining room table or whatever. I don't always pick stuff up, but I'll just go, hmm, how long is that going to sit there? And I'll say, until you put it away, my dear. <laughs> until you get sick of looking at it. Until that table gets magic? What? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so this. the magic coffee table. And I, I know that's been on YouTube. It's been, there's been a lot of, that's gotten a lot of mileage over the years. Over a few years anyway. But, uh, but yeah, it it's a real thing. <laughs> it is. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and you believe in unicorns yeah. too, don't yeah. you? And so, in closing, mm-hmm. um, we have blue jobs and pink jobs, and, and some are purple, and some are purple. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and that that's we're coming up to that episode soon. Um, but I just I just because this is about organizational too, mm-hmm. because um, organize. So you're very organized. G. Landa loves spreadsheets. She loves lists. Excel. Right? She loves all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and she also loves to... I don't know if she'll... You might admit this. You might actually admit this. And if you did, I would think that's pretty big of you. <laughs> but she also likes to organize my thoughts. She does. She. You're looking like you don't know where I'm bit. going with this. A little bit. Oh, A little so you, bit. You admit A little bit. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll own it. I'll own it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I So, like, it. if I put on a song, remember back in the day, I'd put a song on. I'm, I'm a musician, right? I love love my 80s shit. And I'll put a song on, and she'll go, yeah, I don't I don't know if we if we like this song. <laughs> no, I'll ask you. Uh, you're going to deny do, that? Do we, no, I'll say, do we like this song? Yeah. In other, clearly, in other it's words, one that I don't like. Yeah, in other words, change the fucking song. That's what that, no. that's a... That's a road trip thing, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We yeah. Did, that was yeah. yeah. We've already we've mm. already nailed that one. Yeah. In the studio, we have uh, we have a you know furnace in here. It's heated, obviously, but we also have in floor heat, and our weather fluctuates up and down, hot, cold. In Canada, wild. in Canada, yeah. Who who would have thought, right? And sometimes it gets. Really mild here. We just went through a, a spell of it being, being pretty a spell. I sound like I'm a thousand uh, of it being mild, and when it does that, so we have our in-floor heat system set at, 
at a certain temperature. So then the, the hot dog furnace doesn't kick in and out and you're using less gas, right? Um, but when it's mild, it gets pretty warm in here. So we'll actually shut the hot dog, the furnace off, and just run the in-floor heat. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, it's a concrete floor, obviously, and and it's, it's very warm. You can mm-hmm. take your shoes off and... You walk know, in bare feet. You walk in bare feet, yeah. and it's awesome. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> but Gilenda will say to me, she's actually said it to me about four or five times now, she'll, she'll say to me, should we turn the heat down <laughs> in the in-floor heat? And I'll remember the first time and I went, yeah, you think so? I, yeah, like I, I'm not as cold as she is sometimes and vice versa. So in the beginning, it was like, yeah, okay. Mm, mm, she'll go, mm, do, do the thing. Mm, mm. Yeah, you, she'll do that, right? And then I don't do anything with it. I just like, well, that was just conversation. And then an hour later or two hours later, she'll be like, yeah, I think we should probably turn the, the in-floor <laughs> heat down. <laughs> like, okay. It's like the magic coffee table. So our heat system is on the second floor. So I go upstairs and turn it down, bring it down 10 degrees or whatever, and and uh, and then there's that, right? So I just want to point out it's organizational because you're organizing my thoughts for me, right? I'm sense. just su- suggesting, strongly yeah, st- suggesting. Strongly suggesting. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then... And Power then, suggestion. And then the in-floor heat will, will quit working because that was a great design with mm-hmm. the exhaust, right? <laughs> with the exhaust system. So it's got fresh air intake and then it's got the... Ex- or fresh air intake and then exhausts out. And our pipes are 16 feet up on the wall on the back of the shop. And uh, <laughs> I can't reach them, <laughs> but they ice up in our in with the mild weather going back and forth. I don't even consider saying, "Hmm, do you think we should knock the ice and the snow out of those pipes?" I just do it, right? Because what would happen if I did that? You do you. <laughs> do you need to? Yeah, I would. I would have to just do me. <laughs> Yes, you would. Yeah, would so there's I? that. There's that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So point B, and we just organize a little different, but it works for us, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I'd be curious to know what your organizational or uh, lack thereof hurdles are mm-hmm. in your relationship. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's no rules, Mm-mm. right? No, there is. At least you haven't told me what they are. No, I just suggest right. the power of suggestion. Power of su- so yeah, yeah, right. So it's it's like a control enthusiast. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know what I want and I know how to get it, but I don't want to just go. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing this. That's right. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's just a softer approach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's our show for the day. Yeah. Or for and today. we know a lot about in floor heat now and stuff, and yeah, that's good. Hmm. Hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, it, it's before. I feel like I need to close with something strong and powerful. <laughs> How about your tagline? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I gotta. I should write. You know, I should write it on the wall over there. Or something. Uh huh. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll see if I can remember my tagline. Okay. Remember, every <laughs> somebody always needs a ride. I I fucked over and out sucker. No, oh, you want me to just roll? Yeah, and no. then and then I'm done. Yeah. yeah. Okay, try again. I'll try again, and we'll edit. So that's it for now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's what you're gonna say. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to me. No, that yeah. was the power of suggestion. <laughs> so that's all the insight we have for today on organizational skills or the lack thereof. And remember, somebody always needs a ride. I'm Seckert, and this is G. Linda, and make sure to live your best life. See you Over later. and out. <laughs>